hello friends welcome to my channel in today's video i am going to discuss about sample covid 19 questions to be asked by the air operators if you are planning to fly canada in this pandemic situation so these questions will be asked during the online checking or offline counter at your home country airport as per the recent guidelines of government of canada airport operator staff may ask you some additional questions for your health check due to covid 19 so i will also discuss about it in this video after that at the port of entry in canada you must fill up coronavirus form or arrive can mobile app application and you have to present your quarantine plan so in the later part of the video i will discuss about that how to fill up the form and step by step process to complete the information through arrive can mobile app so guys before i start please do subscribe my channel for the latest videos and updates about canada immigration so to start with last discussed about few sample questions which can be asked by the air operators so these questions may be asked through the automated check-in machines or by agents at check-in counters or by any other means air traveler will be permitted to board the aircraft to canada based on his or her responses to these questions so guys these are the sample questions which will be asked at the time of check-in so the first question is are you a canadian citizen or permanent res resident or registered indian under the indian act so if you are a permanent resident or canadian citizen then simply you should say yes then directly you are allowed to go for the health checking but if you are not a permanent resident you are not a canadian citizen then you are not allowed to go for the health checking directly for example for copr holders are not a permanent resident so here you should select the question and uh, answer is no then next question is let's say do you meet one of the exceptions for foreign nationals made under emergency orders so if you are under the exemptions then you have to select yes for example recently government of canada has allowed copr holders confirmation of permanent resident holders whose application approved before 18th march same way study permit holders whose applications approved before 18th march so you are allowed under the exceptions and you are a foreign nationals you are not a permanent resident and you are not a canadian citizen so if you are allowed in certain exceptions then you have to select yes otherwise if you say no you will not be allowed to board the flight so let's assume that you are a foreign nationals you are a copr holder and you are allowed in the exceptional category or essential category to travel canada so now the next question is are you traveling for the optional or discretionary purposes including tourism recreation or entertainment so if you say yes you will be denied obviously we are going to select no because as a copr holder we are going to for the permanent settlement settlement in canada so we are going to select no and if you select the no you will be permitted for the health checking fine so please carefully answer these questions when you do online checking or check in at the counter so i hope the first part will be clear to you now let's move to the next part before that let's we see this is the decision tree model is explained by the government of canada it is very similar to the things that we have discussed earlier 
the first question is if you are a citizen or permanent resident directly you will be allowed for the health checking if you are not a permanent resident or citizen and then it will ask you that you are allowed in one of the exception essential category for the travel if you will say yes then it will ask you that you are allowed for you are not going for the tourism or recreation then you say no then you will be allowed for the checking fine so this is the overall process for the boarding then few questions related to the health check will be asked by the air operator staff so the first question is do you have a fever and a cough fine obviously we will say no the second question is do you have a fever and breathing difficulty again our answer is no then the third question is have you been refused boarding in the past 14 days due to medical reasons related to covid 19 so again we are going to say no because we are we have not boarded or we have not rejected earlier and the next question is do you have a removable mask or face covering mask which cover your mouth and nose so we are going to say yes in this question because we it is essential to carry the mask which covers the which covers the mouth and the nose so to board the flight your questions uh, your answers for the questions are no 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 and yes so i hope these things are clear now let's move to assume that you have given the all the answers correctly and you are allowed to board the pl flight from your home country and you reach to the canada now at the at the port of entry in canada means your first port of your first port of your entry then you will you will have to fill up the various forms obviously you have to carry your copr your passport your goods to follow form additionally due to covid 19 additional form that you will have to fill up and that form we call it as coronavirus form so let's open that form and let's see the guidelines what are the things that you have to fill up in that so this is the official page which is published by the government of canada and you can see that this is the guidance material for airport operators to manage the international travelers and check-in procedures at international airports so in this page everything is explained so you can refer the details later on i have already said the link of link of this in the video description box fine so let's see the here in the bottom part the form is given and this form is called as coronavirus form so this form will be given by the air operators or it is not given then it may be available at the airport so let's open the form and let's see that what are the details that you will have to fill up so first thing you need to fill up your surname your first name your date of birth in the yyy mmdd format your date of arrival means your landing date in which date you are going to land that you have to fill up then you have to fill up from which location you are filling out this form it means that you have to write the name of airport or the land so here there are currently as you are aware four airports permitted to receive the flights from the abroad like toronto pearson international airport monterio montreal international airport caligari international airport and vancouver international airport so you should remember that which is your first port of entry in canada and according to you have to write the details over here so for example i am assuming that i am going to land in toronto so i will write toronto pearson international airport terminal 1 or terminal 3 right okay so let's move to the next part next thing is you have to write the destination type which is somewhat confusing here you have to write either home hotel or others so it means that it means that you have to say that where you are going to stay in canada so in so there are basically there are four options as per the arrive can mobile app so first option is returning home so let's say for example if you are a canadian citizen or permanent resident and you are returning to your home and you are stranded in india or any other country due to covid 19 and you are unable to go back so in that case you are coming back to your home 
right so it means that you have to select the your home okay, which is your destination type is your home so you are going back to your home another option is you are staying with your family or friends this option is not given in this form but however it is avail available in the arrive can mobile app so very soon we are going to see that option so this option says that if you are going to land in canada and then after you are going to stay with your friends or the family members then you have to select this option or the third option is hotel Mot so here it is given hotel motel or the rental accommodation so let's say if you have if, uh, if you do not have any relative or any family members and you have booked the rental accommodation through airbnb then you can go for this option or if you don't have any other on any of this options then you can select the last one so i hope the things are clear what you have to write in the destination type then you have to provide the address where you are going to stay in the quarantine so as you know you must have to quarantine 14 days once you land into the canada so here you have to write the complete address if you have a multiple address you may write the multiple address too then you have to fill up the information about your mobile information your home mobile information you can write your alternative numbers you can give your friends or family number uh, family members numbers then you have to write your email address and after this you have to submit this form to the government of canada right so i hope the things are clear what you have to fill and what you have to write but however few provinces have their own self isolation plans because few provinces doesn't take this coronavirus form or maybe they have their own separate web form so let's see for example if we scroll down this web page fine you can see that the provincial or territorial self isolation plan it means that if you move to the specific province then you may have to give the additional self isolation plans for the quarantine right so let's say here this is the quarantine uh, self isolation plans for the uh, new found and labrador then for british columbia and some other territories so let's say for example let's open for the british columbia so if you click on the self isolation on return to british columbia then you will be redirected to this page so this is the official website of if you are returning to british columbia and if you are, so for that you have to stay in the self isolation for the 14 days then what you should do so as you can see over here traveler must submit a bc self isolation plan it means that you have to submit your self isolation plan and complete the federal arrive can application it means that you have to download this arrive can application and you have to fill the, all the information in this application so it is compulsory fine so right now these things are not compulsory in ontario saskatchewan alberta nova scotia however but we never know when it will become a compulsory so it is good that you should know you should know about how to fill the information through the arrive can app so in the later part of this video we are going to discuss about the how to fill the information step wise fine then if we move scroll down this page then you can see the self isolation plan you have to present and you can read this self isolation plan is a legal commitment to the self isolation and it is enforceable under the public health cat so guys it is not a just in document it is a legal commitment that you are giving to the government of canada right so your self isolation plan must consider the 14 days plan then you will have to say that how you will travel to this location first you will have to say what is the location of your self isolation and then you will have to say how you will travel there so you can say that you will travel through private vehicle or through the air uh, through the uber or ola or any of the services 
then after you have to say that how you will arrange your food medicines child care cleaning supplies pet care so you have to make a plan or you have to write a few lines regarding that how you will buy the groceries through the online how you will purchase the medicines how you will take care of your child fine and how your social and family support would be there so you have to present a one self isolation plan to the immigration officer when you land to the canada so you can prepare and make sure that you remember this all the points when you write your self isolation plan fine so i hope this will be clear and for the registration in the complete federal arrive can application you have to download it this application so this application is available in the google play store for the android users for the android phone users and if you are using iphone then it is available in the apple app store fine so let's assume that you uh, download this application through the google play store and now let's after that we will discuss that how to do the registration or how to fill the information in the arrive can application step by step so friends i wanted to cover everything in this video however this video is very long now so i decided that i will divide this video into the two parts it means that i will explain how to fill the details in the arrive can mobile application app in the next video so i assume that you should download the application through the google play store and Let's watch the next video to learn how to fill the information in the app. Okay, thank you.